Good morning, Mount Clear Church of Christ. How are you? Here we are for day 27 of T.D. Jakes' devotional called Crushing. And today is entitled, Use What is Left. Use What is Left. And we're reading from 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 2. 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 2. And it reads, The story of the widow in 2 Kings is a reminder of what God can do with what we have left It reminds us that our miracle is never in what we have lost, but in what we have left. The widow told the prophet Elisha that she was in terrible, in a a horrible situation. Her husband had died and left her with debt. This woman had two sons and no way of taking care of herself or them, or so it seemed. She told the prophet of her plight and shared how crushed she was. But Elisha asked her what she did have in her house. He basically asked about what was remaining in her home, not what had died. She told him she had nothing except a small jar of oil, and that was what Elisha was looking for. He gave the widow instructions on how to make it off, how to make it off that small jar of olive oil. He told her to gather empty jars from her neighbours and then pour her oil into the jars. He told her as each jar filled, set it aside and pour it into the next jar. The woman followed the prophet's instructions and she had enough oil to fill many, many jars. In fact, she ended up having more oil than jars. With this, Elisha instructed her to go and sell oil and pay off her debts. She would have enough left for her and her sons to live off. It's actually a really cool story, isn't it? What a miracle. The bishop writes, the woman had no idea what that little jar of oil had left in her home could do. But when she took that jar and paired it with her obedience, she found out she had an abundance. (laughs) Obedience is often key, church. Obedience is often the key. God has created more capacity for you to pour out, improve upon and increase what you have left, even in the crushing period. Amen for that, yeah? Amen for that. Don't focus on what you lost. Focus on what you have left. After all, God would not have taken it from you if you had truly needed it. It is the remnant that is the most valuable. It will give rise to more fruit next season. Just watch and see. Let's pray. Father God, I bring to you all that we have left after our crushing. We bring to you what feels like a little bottle of oil, the only thing we have left. But we know you love and care for us and can do miraculous things with what we have left. Use our remnant to produce even more fruit in the next season and keep us faithful and obedient to you and your will, we pray in Jesus' name. Good morning, Mount Clear. Good morning.